basically to create a um, ASP.NET NBC project um, file. Click on the file and the new. And I would select project. I'll select NBC. I'm going to put this on the temporary folder so it doesn't mess with my working folder. I'm going to name this Sitecore Azure Pass. Click OK. Select NBC. Click OK. is now our newly created um, NBC project on Visual Studio. In the file system, once you have the once you have the application created, then go to the file system and then locate the the folder where the project is created and, and also the your working folder and then copy the solution file to the same level, to the to, to your working folder on the same level of the website. Then change the path of the CS project uh, uh, to point to your website folder. Then, then continue by copying um, some folders from the from the project that we generated on the on the temporary folder to the website folder. So um, for for the MVC project, we need the following. So copy the following folders from your temporary project that you created earlier to the website folder in your Sitecore uh, project. So I would copy the app data, the app start, content controller, fonts, model, properties, clips, views, global packages. Um, make sure that you don't copy the web.config, but we would need the web.debug and web.release, and then the global assets. I just added the startup.cs, the, the CS project file, the icon and the user. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to click on override. And there. So the project should look like this. Make sure also to copy the packages folder on the same level as the website. Now, it's important that the versions that's in your packages folder should match on your web config. So um, make sure to review that and make sure that you that they are um, matching. Otherwise, you would have a problem later on um, once you deploy this on the Azure Cloud. In Visual Let's open up the Sitecore project in Visual Studio. So this is how it looks like in Visual Studio. I already have the project open. And um, the next thing is we need to add a reference to the Sitecore kernel. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. 
and you should have a reference to the sector kernel there on the reference folder. Set the copy uh, attribute of the reference from true to false because we don't want this to be copied every time. So copy local this attribute, set this to false. Update the global ASAX file, uh, code file, and in and use or change it to inherit to the sidecore web that application class. Save the changes. And then locate the, the route file, the route config.cs, and comment this one out because Sitecore does not need this. Make sure to save the change. Finally, let's try to compile the solution. Make sure that it builds and succeeds. And as you can see, it's it's build has succeeded let me rebuild it again just to show you that everything is working fine there and now so we now have a asp.net mvc project that's re ready for our sitecore uh, azure deployment 